Well, good day and thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy to see you and I really believe that God is going to bless you this day. Why? Because you made the time to listen to God's word. And so I'm going to read you a portion of scripture found in the book of Galatians 3 and verse 12. And I'm going to read up until verse 15. And so it says the following. Since God chose you to be holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And then it carries on in verse 13. It says, make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others as well. And then in verse 14, and this is my key scripture this morning, it says, above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And so my question this morning is, what are you clothing yourself with? Um, in other words, what is your dress code? Every one of us are going to work, going to school, we have a uniform. Now, we as Christians, we have a dress code as well. And that dress code is love. And so this morning, I want to encourage you to put on love because it binds all these other virtues that we read about um, in the scripture together. We are ambassadors of Christ and ambassadors, they have a certain dress code as well. And we as ambassadors of Christ, we have the dress code of love. When people look at us, they must experience the love of God. So I want to encourage you this morning, dress to impress. What is it that we should impress people with? We should impress people with the love of God because it's the most powerful thing that exists. In, uh, love. Love is that what we should put on today. And so with that being said, let's close our eyes and let's pray together. Father God, here we are today and we just want to make sure that we are dressed properly. And so Lord, we choose to put on all these other virtues, but above all, we choose to put on love. Lord, so that this world that has become loveless and has become called to one another, Lord, will see us and desire what we have, and that is your love, Lord. And I say thank you, Lord, that as we present ourselves in this way, that this world around us, Lord, will be drawn towards you, our Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in and may you have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.